This video is about Venn diagram with uh, two sets. Check this uh, section two first. This uh, section two means uh, in both set A and uh, B. So A intersection B is uh, for section two. This section means uh, only A. When you see only, it uh, implies that uh, not B. So A intersection B prime is the set for section 1. For section 3 means uh, only B. When you see only, it implies that uh, not A. So B intersection A prime is the set for section 3. Section 4 means uh, neither A nor B. So A prime intersection B prime is uh, the set for section 4. Let's uh, color each section. You got to know section 1 means uh, this area. And uh, section 2 means uh, this area. And uh, section 3 is uh, this area. Section 4 means uh, the area outside uh, set A and B. Therefore, for set A, equals uh, section 1 plus uh, section 2. For set B equals section 2 plus uh, section 3. Let's go to question 3. If R and S are independent events, where P of R equals 0 0.7, P of S equals 0 0.4. Find the P of R intersection S. Let's go to formula booklet. Independent events means the probability of A intersection B equals probability of A times the probability of B. Therefore, for A, P of R intersection S equals P of R times P of S equals 0 0.7 times 0 0.4 equals 0 0.28. Let's label. This is a 0 0.28, R 0 0.7, S 0 0.4. So only R will be 0 0.7 minus 0 0.28 equals 0 0.42 for only S. 0 0.4 minus 0 0.28 equals 0 0.12. We can figure out uh, not R, not S by doing subtraction. Use 1 minus all these three probabilities. We will get not R, not S equals 0 0.18. B, find the probability of R union S. If you already solved this Venn diagram, R union S means everything in R count. Then you add S. You need to add these three probabilities, which is 0 0.42 plus 0 0.28 plus 0 
equals 0 0.82. Or you can use uh, this formula, which is uh, P of R union S equals P of R plus P of S minus P of R intersection S equals 0 0.7 plus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.28 equals 0 0.82. Let's go to C. Find the P of R given S. We will use uh, this formula. Write down formula first. P of R intersection S over probability of S. We already figured out P of R intersection S equals 0 0.28. 0 0.28 over P of S is given here. 0 0.4 equals 0 0.7. Let's go to D. The following Venn diagram shows in Venn's R and S. Shade the region for R prime intersection S. For the questions about shading the region, you should start with the set without prime. Let's get started with this S. Since this is an intersection, you need to do the subtraction. Set S is a circle. Check all the values in set S. Not R. R prime means not R. So get rid of 0 0.28. You will shade this area only as area. For D2, find the probability of S given R prime. Write down the formula first. P of S intersection R prime over P of R prime. P of S intersection R prime we already shaded this area, which means 0 0.12. For probability of R prime, let's highlight all the values outside set R. Then we add them together. 0 0.12 plus 0 0.18. This is a probability of for R prime equals 0 0.12 over 0 0.3 equals 0 0.4. Question 4. At primary school, a survey found that 68% of students have a dog and 36% of students have a cat. Based on these two information, you can write down for dog 0 0.68, cat 0 0.36. 14% of students have both a dog and a cat 0 0.14 for this n. This information can be represented in the following Venn diagram, where M, N, P, and Q represent a percentage of students within each region. Find the value of M, N, P, and Q. N, we already figured out 0 0.14. 0 0.68 is uh, for this uh, circle. So M plus N 
equals zero point six eight. This m equals zero point six eight minus zero point fourteen. M equals zero point fifty four. For this p, n plus p equals zero point thirty six. So p equals zero point thirty six minus zero point fourteen. Equals zero point twenty two. Let's label zero point fifty four, zero point twenty two. For this q, equals one minus the sum of these three numbers, zero point fifty four plus zero point fourteen plus zero point twenty two. Equals one minus zero point nine equals zero point one. Q equals zero point one. Since this M N P and Q represents the percentage of students, you need to change into percentage. This is a fourteen percent, ten percent. Equals fifty four per cent. Equals twenty two per cent. B. Find the percentage of the students who have a dog or a cat or both. Basically, we are looking for probability of a dog, union, cat. Let's find the value in set D. Which is uh, these two values? Then add the value in set C. Do not repeat. So we will add these three numbers together. We already added over here, which is a、uh, zero point nine equals ninety percent. Find the probability. That a randomly chosen students, C one, has a dog but doesn't have a cat. Probability of a dog intersection cat prime equals. First of all, you need to find the values in set D, then. Get rid of for the value in C, which is the、uh, this one cross out. So zero point fifty four is the answer. Let's go to C two. Has a dog. Given that they don't have a cat, probability of for dog. Given that it's a bar, don't have a cat means C prime. Let's use uh, this uh, formula. So we got probability of D intersection C prime all over probability of C prime equals. We already figured out、uh, P of D intersection C prime in C. What zero point fifty four probability of、uh, C prime? Just、uh, check the value outside、uh, C, which is、uh, this value and、uh, this value zero point fifty four plus zero point one equals. Twenty-seven over thirty-two. This is an accurate answer. Or you can change this into three sig figs: zero point eight four four.